I'm Sean Jansen, and I'm here today, and I've smashed all loads of stuff with my trusty sledgehammer. And then me and a group of very qualified physicists are here to tell you what exactly is going on when we're causing our mayhem. That's right, we've resorted to smashing innocent objects in order to make a little bit of money. Now, before we get into the science of all of this, all we really need to do is measure the weight of the sledgehammer. Now, as you can see from the uh, mass balance here, the sledgehammer weighs 4 kilograms. Pretty good, that certainly was. Now let's get into the physics behind what just happened. Now consider the circumference of my elbow to the top of the hammer, and now the arc of the circumference that the hammer travels, the radius of the circle is 90 centimeters, and the angle of the circle the hammer travels is 255 degrees. This means the hammer travels 353 centimeters. Using distance over time equals velocity, the velocity of the hammer, assuming I swung with a constant acceleration, is 3.9 meters per second. Now the damage dealt to the plank is proportional to the amount of kinetic energy exerted. Using the formula kinetic energy equals a half by mass by the velocity squared, we get an energy exerted of 28.88 joule. In this segment, we're replacing the sledgehammer with a falling cinder brick. Now measuring the height that it's dropping from is a whopping 191 centimeters, and the weight of the cinder block itself is 14 kilograms. Here's a quick bit of theory to fill you in on what's happening. Potential energy added to kinetic energy always equals a constant. This means when the block is in my hand, the kinetic energy is zero and the potential energy is full. The opposite happens when the potential energy is zero. Now the formula for potential energy is mass by gravitational acceleration by the height. This then equals the kinetic energy whose formula is half by mass by velocity squared. Taking gravity as 9.8 meters per second squared, the weight of the block being 14 kilograms and the height being 191 centimeters, the kinetic energy exerted is 262 joules. If you make these equal each other, you can get the velocity of the formula by which would be the square root of two by the gravitational acceleration and the height. Therefore, its velocity is 6 meters per second. In the final section of this video, we're going to use a 10 bar pump to blow up a ball, and hopefully, it explodes. 10 bar pump. Let's see where we can get it. Currently, we're still in the white, and we've just gotten to one. PSI. Fun fact, while we did actually expect the PSI of the ball to go up, the ball actually increases in volume since it's so rubbery, therefore the pressure stays the same. 